Hey guys, welcome to Duck Duck Diecast. And in today's video, I will be cleaning and waxing this Porsche 935 K3 by TSM. So as you notice, I don't have any polish here. And the reason why is because we don't wanna ruin these nice decals here. So you can be as careful as you want, but as soon as something happens, you can never redo it again, right? So yeah, there's no undo button here. And I'm gonna do a time lapse. So I do have a how-to video on this, so please check that out. It should be a link in the description and possibly right here as well. And yeah, let's get on it. So before we begin, I just wanna quickly show you guys how the before is right now. So as you can see, it's a little bit dull. You can see a little bit of like those kind of like that layer of dust on the model. And it's also a bit dull, it's not glossy. So I'm hoping to fix that. We're not too worried about the underside here. Actually, if you look at the underside, you can see how much shinier it is compared to the uh, front there. And then as we can see here by the Jägermeister logo, there's yeah, like there's kind of like a film. We got some, uh, what is this, glue or something? So yeah, we'll uh, try to uh, clean this up. And as you can see by the crevices there, it's also a little bit dusty underneath. So we'll get through that with a Q-tip. And for the model itself, we can see the windows clearly need some attention there. And if you see these crevices there, you can see some dirt right there in the crevices. So we're gonna work on that. Same here as well, you can see that. And then, yeah, like as you can see the paint there, like there's just a layer. So we'll just clean it up. Same with the top. Crevices here. See right there. Yeah, there we go. Same on the other side. Just, uh, just need some cleaning. It's not too bad. Yeah, just right there. You can see some dust there inside. Uh, yeah, like the, it just looks a little bit dull. So hopefully we can fix that easy. The wheels aren't too bad. Yeah, like there's areas there. Look, you can see the dust. The front's not too bad, but again, it. Uh, yeah, we'll clean the whole thing up.
here's the finished product. Um, it's really slippery because of the uh, wax, but just look at that gloss, that finish. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna hold it with one hand, kind of stabilize it with my finger, just because it's really slippery, especially this back side here. I noticed as I, as soon as I put that uh, rear wing slash engine compartment cover, it's so heavy. So yeah, um, let's start with this side, shall we? Um, so yeah, like you can see the nice gloss, it's everywhere, like it's so glossy, it has this nice finish, and I just want to quickly show you guys how, uh, how much dirt I got on, that I lifted up from, from the model. Let's see here, just getting my, uh, thing here, and yeah, like, this is how dirty it is, so... That's just one part that I used with my finger. So you can tell how much I lift it out. And I did this for just under 40 minutes. And you didn't have to worry about watching me do that for 40 minutes. That's why I did a time lapse. But yeah, like uh, definitely had to work on those tiny crevices such as this area. So as you can see, it's cleaner. Unfortunately, I cannot get into the, like the really, really hard crevices because I don't want to break that uh, that windshield wiper but majority of it is gone and it has that nice gloss as well so yeah and you can definitely see it right here by the hood like you can see how glossy it is compared to how it was like it has this like dull finish and now it's like like all those like all that dirt got lifted out from that warm water and we finish it off with that wax absolutely gorgeous just stabilize it again yeah and then if we look at the windows here there's still like hard to reach areas and stuff and i tried my best to use it with a q-tip and it just won't lift off so it might be a scratch or something but it's so much better absolutely better and there's minimal dirt like as you can see there's like a really 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 tiny crevice there and it's just hard to get so one thing that you can do is with a toothpick but it's uh, it's really really difficult um, and then as we mentioned a while ago the crevice is right here just underneath this rear um, I don't know gurney flap like a partial gurney flap yeah, so there's no more dirt underneath there. So th I noticed that this rear wing here is actually a little bit of a matte color and it's not a gloss color. So I don't know if that was intentional, but yeah, like you can tell the difference. It's a bit matte to like the gloss. So I don't know, that's how it is. And there's no way I can make this glossy. Um, yeah, so you can tell how much gloss there is. And then the rear, there's not much to see in the rear, but might as well show it to you guys. Still got that nice glossy look to it. Made sure every exterior orange paint was waxed up. And then after the wax, I just uh, took off the uh, wax residue with the uh, cloth here and I used the uh, fluffier side. But yeah, like, uh, let me guys know what you guys think, and uh, I'm really happy with the outcome. As you can tell, it's amazing. And it's definitely night and day for the uh, be before and after pictures. I mean, uh, before and after video. But yeah, like, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.